Hello, Patrick Haggerty here, Basin Youth for Christ. John chapter 11, we're teaching on this week uh, the incredible miracle of the resurrection of Lazarus from the dead by Jesus Christ. And as you may recall, we left off in verse 4. And Jesus, having heard that Lazarus was sick, not just sort of sick, but gonna die sick, terminally ill, Jesus responded and said in verse 4, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God so that the Son of God will receive glory from this. So, although Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. It's interesting. In just the first few verses of John chapter 11, John takes the time to make sure, to assure us, the audience, as we read this book, that Jesus loved Martha and Mary and Lazarus. And that what he is allowing to happen, the tragedy that he is allowing to happen in their lives is not because he hates them. But even in the midst of the tragedy, the Lord loves them. And he cares for them. But Jesus does something totally crazy, right? Jesus heals perfect strangers. He heals people that he has never met as far as personally is concerned, and he'll heal them on the spot. Well, he hears that his really good friend Lazarus is sick. And Jesus doesn't hurry, and Jesus doesn't go, and Jesus doesn't leave. No, he remains where he is two more days until he makes sure that his friend Lazarus dies. Verse 7, finally he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. But his disciples objected, Rabbi, they said only a few days ago the people in Judea were trying to stone you. Are you going there again? Jesus replied, there's 12 hours of daylight every day. During the day, people can walk safely. They can see because they have the light of this world. But at night, there's a danger of stumbling because they have no light. Then he said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep but I will go and wake him up. The disciples logically respond and say, Lord, if he's sleeping, he'll soon get better. They thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping, but Jesus meant Lazarus had died. The the disciples are just like, hey, Jesus, it's a little silly to walk all that way just to go over there if he's asleep and wake him up. By the time we get there, he will have slept however long he needs to have slept, uh, slept and he will have awoken. So Jesus clarifies. Verse 14, he told them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there, for now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. And you see, in the midst of the mess, God is inviting us and setting up circumstances in our lives to provide us with an opportunity to believe. And listen, let's just be real. I can say that I believe something all day long, but you'll find out whether or not I really believe it when it's tested. And so sometimes God allows and permits enormous amounts of difficulty and suffering in our lives. But it's not for no reason. It's not for no purpose. It's again, so that the glory of God may be revealed. How? Well, one of the ways it's revealed is, man, God gets the glory when ordinary human beings like you and me place their faith in Jesus even in the midst of suffering. And we see the glory of God revealed even through pain and heartache. And we choose to believe even in those moments. And when we do, it brings enormous amounts of glory to God, to Jesus Christ. So listen to me. If things are difficult right now, just trust. Pray God. Pray to God and just say, Lord, help me trust 
that you're in this mess and that you haven't abandoned me and that you love me and that somehow in this mess you are going to invite me to a place where I might grow in my faith, where I might grow in my belief. It's hard to trust in the difficult times. It's hard to trust if you're living over in the Rogue Valley right now and your house is just burnt to the ground. I'm not saying it's easy. But it's what the Lord is calling us to. It wasn't easy for Martha and Mary either. And we'll see more about just how difficult it was for them as we journey through this chapter. May the Lord bless you. He loves you even in the midst of the storm.